Welcome to the Designing the Row Squarespace store setup series. This is just one video of many where I teach you how to set up your Squarespace store from start to finish. I'm Katherine Forbes, founder of Designing the Row, and I'm also a Squarespace expert, Squarespace authorized trainer, and Squarespace Circle member. So if you are looking for help building your Squarespace website, you've come to the right place. So now let's say, for example, at least I'm filming this during the whole coronavirus pandemic and the t-shirts where I print these are six weeks behind. So I don't necessarily want to actually take orders for these right now. Maybe I want to do a pre-order for them. So I can say they're coming out in September and I'm doing pre-orders for them. So how do we let people know about a pre-order? Maybe you're doing a pre-order for your album, which makes more sense than a t-shirt. But I'm going to use my t-shirt as an example to show you how to do this on your albums. So let's pop over to this options tab here and select use custom add button label. So you'll see on our product page it just automatically populates an add to cart button for you but we can change this to say pre-order. So that way even if in your description you've said this album or this t-shirt is a pre-order some people might not read that and they are going to expect to get that product immediately. But if you change this actual add to cart button to say pre-order now instead, then that customer is going to really say, oh, this isn't out yet, so I need to know that it's coming later, right? So that's all you have to do to customize that add to cart button. Super simple. You can make it say whatever you want. Just type it in here and you'll be good to go. If this video tutorial was helpful, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and if you have any further questions, you can leave them for me in the comments. And as this is a series, I will leave the next video for you right here. And don't forget that over at designingtherow.com, I have more tips and resources on how you can build and grow your online presence.